first part of tonight's video is going to be sorting out this front bumper. Now, I want to keep the kind of curved shape because I want it to look like a snaz wagon still. Uh, and I thought it'd be a, a good chance to, to try out a bit of a technique um, to make some curved plastic guard panels. Uh, there's an example of one I made earlier. So it's quite an easy thing to do. So what you're going to need is some relatively thin plastic card. So this is 0.75 mil. I would suggest either 0.75 or half a mil. If you get up to a, a millimetre thick, it doesn't take the shape too well. We need a former, so I'm going to use this Pritt stick here. That's going to be my base that I'm going to wrap around. Um, the reason is, if you look at here, it's around about, see that hopefully? Yeah, just about. It's around about the same curvature as the bumper. Um, it wants to be a little smaller than what you want to do because the plastic card will stretch out a little bit once you let it off. You'll need a good sharp hobby knife. Uh, I use a, remember these, CD writer pens. Um, these are really, really good for marking plastic card and you'll want a steel ruler. So the first job is going to get our design onto this plastic card so we can figure out what each of the layers is going to be. So I've taken the time to sketch out a bit of a plan for this. So I've built it about a centimetre wider overall. So I've got a bit of space to tuck. This is the back level. This is the top level, that's the middle level. And then these two will be the front plate here. And I've, I've actually made four of these, so I've got some extra bits. So I want to curve it all to fit. So I've broadly followed the same shape. So we've got a nice long thin bit to go over the wheel. It's a bit of a wheel arch. It cuts down in here a little bit. We've got the flat front bit, which will be running at the back of here. Uh, and then I'm going to essentially cut this center out and stick these on top of it to make this slight bow shape. And then we'll round off the edges with a bit of filing later. So nothing overly complicated. It took about 10 minutes. We'll just get this cut up and we'll start work. So one of the great things about plastic card is you don't have to cut all the way through it. Simply put your metal ruler right there across it. I'm going to score a line a couple of times with a sharp point of a knife. One, two. Once it's through, you can literally just bend it and snap it. There we go, nice clean line. This works really well for making long straight cuts. And bear in mind, this is an orky vehicle, so if you need to tweak it around later, hack some chunks off it, don't worry about it. So we've got all our bits cut out and you're going to need a piece of something else flexible. I've just got a piece of thin card here. I didn't want it to stick to the front um, and we're going to use that to wrap around it on top and then you'll want a whole bunch of elastic bands. So grab your former, in this case a Pritt stick tube. I'm just going to bend this card around it to get it going a little bit. It needs to be perfect this one. So. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to stack each of these up and we're going to bend them round the card and then we're going to stick them into, into position. Now this is actually quite firm plastic card, so this will be quite interesting seeing how well this goes. The card I used last time was a bit more flexible than this. So first job is start at the back piece, get some plastic glue on this, all over it. And I'll give that a little rub around in there. It takes a little while to dry, so we've got a few minutes to working time. And then on top of this, I just want to bend these two. Let's work a bit of pace now. Try and line them up as best you can, they don't need to be perfect. I'm going to get them on here, I'm going to wrap them on there. Sandwich it all together, wrap that around the back of it, hold its shape, grab elastic bands, start very, very tightly tying these round. And I kid you not, they want to be incredibly tight. As you can see there, we're trying to bend it right the way around the shape. So you need to keep 
tightening these. Keep going and going and going. And once you've got it as tight as possible, we're going to leave it now. Um, preferably overnight, but for as long as you can. You can see the kind of sandwich levels here. We've got it pretty tightly wound round. I might try and find a few more elastic bands just to tighten it right up. So we've got a pretty even amount of pressure all the way down that. We're just going to leave that to one side now. So we're at 24 hours later and these are really nice and dry and curved. As you can see, these came out really, really nicely. We've got a beautiful curve on these. And they are a bit more curvy than the ones that came with the kit. I did want these to be a little longer. So we're going to build up a bumper now. Uh, the car, I've, this is the roof isn't actually stuck on yet. I carried on, I've put the wheels on. Um, I've put some different exhaust pipes on it. Uh, I think these are from Killer Cans possibly the wall bikers kit. I've put truck wheels on the back so this is all now stable. This isn't on yet, uh, it just pops out. But I just wanted to start getting a feel for size of the front uh, which we'll do in a bit. So tonight's job is going to be finish off the front bumper, get these wheel arches over the wheels, build the front. Have curve. It won't be curved but it'll be a kind of stepped uh, front bumper. So the piece we've got, um, this was the first one I did, uh, obviously I, last night I just stuck the top layer on and I have since cut out the inside just to speed this up a little bit and check it had worked. Uh, it's pretty even, um, this one's a bit of a problem, uh, you can see it's slipped slightly so it's no longer square so we're going to have to find a way to square this back up by taking a little bit of material off it. Which is all right because it's it's it is wide in the front, so we've got a couple of millimeters to play with there. But I'm going to show you what to do. So this side, I was going to cut here and here, and actually, I think even if I set it in, no, if I set it in, it's going to sit about there. Oh, you can't see that. So this was always planned to be slightly wider than it should be, so I can cut these off and bring them in a little bit. They're a little too tight, so I'm going to have to bring these lines out to probably about here, actually. And then when that comes in, that'll sit just about over the wheel. So I'll just put a bit of line there, and the same on this side. And then to keep them nice and straight, I'm going to use a hobby saw and just cut. It's a filthy hobby saw. Let's just get that one off. And then we're just going to follow the line down here. So just obviously don't slip with it. Get that mark moving. And we'll just saw through this nice and quickly. So don't throw away that. Keep that. And I've got these two nice little arches now. So let's have a quick test fit on here. They're going to sit around out there and there, right back over the wheels. And then we're going to build a front for them sticking out a little bit on here. So that's why we keep this material because we can stick this a couple of millimetres on top of there, just thicken it all up a little bit, and that'll start to give us the kind of look we want. So you can see here, because you're doing this around a curved shape, and I cut these two pieces the same size, we've got a bit of an overhang on the back piece. So you just need to take your hobby knife and just carve that off. It's really quick and easy. Um, I normally do a couple of runs over it, get it as smooth as you can, and then to lose this line in the middle, just get your hobby file out. I haven't got ready, otherwise mine. There. This is a kind of 240 grit one and we'll just sit it on level and give it a rub. And as you can see that comes out beautifully smooth and kind of looks like a single piece. So I'm going to do that all the way around here very quickly. So now these are nice and smooth, we're going to batter them up because, you know, that's the way we roll. So same as we've done on other bits, we're just going to take chunks of plastic out of them Sometimes smooth the edges, cut in, cut in further, deeper if you want to. Cut, just, essentially just go around and batter them all up a little bit. It's an orky vehicle, it will not have been kept in good nick. And at the end of the day it's a buggy so it's going to be bouncing all over the place. I'm going to leave the bottom and I want to leave this line here. Um, simply because I want to stick a bar across the bottom anyway with some rivets in it. Obviously this side will partially be covered up, so I'm going to leave those two, but I'll do all around here in the top and then do the same on the other side. So for the other piece, we're going to use the large curve piece. This sits over the top of these, so you can see it follows broadly the same curve. 
Now I only needed half of this. I found when I originally did it, if you try and do two smaller pieces on a curve, it just doesn't work very well. So I found if I'm making a larger piece and then cutting it down, I can get a better shape out of this. So I've just trimmed around the edges, squaring it off based on the top one, and I'm going to cut straight across here with a hobby saw now. And there we, are. there we have our front plate. So this is going to sit around about there. And these are going to tuck in just behind it. So you can see I've got a bit of a space where I need to add in. So I was thinking... Get a bit of paper first. Let's have a quick idea kick, idea kick around. So my brain was going... Put this on. How level does this sit? Let's just sit. It's got to sit with these behind it. Roughly the same level. Sit so there. It's going to curve under, unfortunately. So I need to bring it so it curves forward a little bit. Like so. And these are going to sit back a little bit further. Maybe at the top of it there. So they sit nice and high. So I think what I'm going to do is do some. Things and then on the top, so on the top of it, so that's sitting like that. And then just take a copy of that curve, that's something like that. That'd be pretty cool, sticking out the front like three blades like that, kind of like teeth. Um, so we'll keep that as a template, get a pair of scissors, cut it out. Great way of just kind of playing around with ideas. That wasn't the right one, just chop it up and start again. It's kind of got the business. Look at that nice big chunky fat thing. And then down this front edge, we're just going to take a knife and just trim it in. Make it a bit more blade like. Just take some chunks out of it, hack it up, do whatever you like to make it look a bit battered and orky. Obviously, you want to leave this side nice and smooth because that's been the bit we attached to the front. So I'm going to make two more of these and I'll be back in a moment. Okie dokie, we've got three of the um, blades cut out, our base piece, and I've cut some 5mm wide strips of 0.75mm plastic. I found this a little easier to use than 1mm because it bends a little easier. We're essentially going to stack these up now. So I just need to mark out where I want my things to be. Where's my pen? Got to move my pen again, there it is. So one wants to be in the centre, this is 35 Four millimeters wide, so that will be 1.567. And then the other ones want to be, let's call it eight in. No. That looks wrong. That definitely looks wrong. Line down, glue down the centre here. Like that. Get one of these strips and stick it over that. It's got to flick off. Which is why you do the, this sort of stuff on a curved surface. We're going to just sit here and hold this for a while now. If you've got some pegs, you could use pegs to hold it down. So while we're waiting for those to dry, we're going to do a bit of work on the side panels again. Most importantly, I need to build this front bit up so we start getting the stepped effect. So I've just cut a couple of scraps off one of the other curved pieces I'm not using. Just use my hobby saw for that. And we'll just drop them on here. And they, as you can see, they follow the curve pretty much perfectly. I'm trying to bulk this out a little bit. Same on this side here. So we can tidy up the tops when you make when it all gets glued together. That's starting to come along. I've grabbed a couple of glyph plates, so we'll drop them around the front here before we hack it. Oh, because I'm not sorted of anything up there. Not yet, so I'll just drop them down there. I'd like to cut them more, but I unfortunately I've used them all. It's almost time to buy some more orky kits. Got a cool little bluff plate down there. I should look at the business. So, I don't know why I'm worried about it being central. I think these ones are from the uh, Mega Knobs. Um, there's obviously loads of orky vehicle ones. Around. They're just these are like the two that came to hand that were broadly the same size and just helped to break up these panels a little bit. Don't want to stick them too high because they're starting to get on the curve. 
as we said. There we go. That's looking pretty good. If you want to stick any extra panels on them, yeah, let's go, let's do some of that. So, I'm not sure if we've got any extra plastic card kicking about. So we'll just get a bit off. This is a, a half mil thickness piece. Not much, just a little bit. If I'd scraps of this, I'd probably use them instead. We just want some small pieces just to add on. Break up these top panels a little bit. So we need a diagonal piece there. So we'll just trim this down a little bit and trim the corners off it. And then we'll do the same. I've got some uh, that kind of grippy plate stuff. I'll add this on this side. So. So because this is only half mil plastic, it's really, really thin and it bends very easily. So it's great for kind of curved surfaces. So a bit of back there. And we'll just drop it on to there. Where's your fingers now? So we'll just drop it on there, give it a squeeze while it Right, this piece has had plenty of time to dry now, so we'll start building this up pretty rapidly. So these are going to sit up here, like so. Pop that in there. Like that. I know it's quite a big fat piece there. We're going to sand that down a little bit in a moment. Same on this side, get this piece glued on. We'll do a test fit, make sure it all does fit as expected. Oh, look at that. That is coming along nicely. Right, I best do the rest of the damage in on this before I stick them on, actually. So I'm going to do these bottom corners now. I see these are near the road, so we're going to. Oh, be careful, it's still drying. Get some nice big chunks out of here. So the final bit of assembly is we'll. Drop our spiked ram on. So the important bit here is to get nice and centrally on the thing at the top. And there we have it, a completely new front plate to replace this one. It's, it's about you know, the same size. We're a little wider, but you know, always the benefits of a custom job. It's going to sit on there. You know, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bar to the back of here out of some plastic this is just a small thin bit of plastic um, this is a piece here. I'll use that use it for it and this will help when it, we stick it on so check where we want to mount it we want to mount it around about there the plastic wants to be just inside here right before I stick this on I'm gonna leave this all to dry because I want to do some more work in the buggy next so that's a really major part I'm quite chuffed with that it's gonna paint up beautifully uh, I might go back around some of these edges here just where, especially on this one where the curve doesn't quite match on the blade and just drop some goo in there later but otherwise that's pretty much done so here we are i'm pretty much finished now i've had to kind of carry on i tried to build this guy so he wasn't in the vehicle um i had a lot of messing around and i just couldn't get him right and so i've had to stick him in and i'll just have to paint him in situ which is a bit annoying but i'd like to do him as a, a separate piece this gun here, uh, I've cut the back of it off and just mounted it on a thin piece of plastic card down there just to give it something to sit on and then made sure it's pointing forward, drill the barrel, all that sort of stuff. Front of it, I've done a bit of tweaking and building. So this has just had a bit of superstructure added to underneath here. That's really so that this can sit on top of it and gets the right angle so it kind of curves around the wheels. I wanted these to kind of look like wheel arches. They're a bit further forward than I'd like. I should have probably made these a couple of millimetres short. I should have probably cut them back here somewhere and this whole bit front section be a little further back. So this vehicle is going to be about five millimetres longer than the actual um, buggy, but I think that should be okay. Uh, so this guy's all finished as well. I've done all the rivets, so this is just ready to paint. So I'm going to go and get him sprayed up, put it all together 
and if you hang around for a moment you can see a painted version of it coming up right about now. Thanks for watching. And thanks for joining us here at The Clock Dice. Why not like this video and add a comment below? It really helps boost the channel. And while you're at it, if you click on the icon below, you can subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates as soon as they're live. Why not check out some of our other videos and playlists? You can click on the ones on screen right now. Take care, and we'll see you next time.